Hello friends, welcome to my channel here at Techies and this is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. So in this video, I am going to explain how to implement NGRX FX in our Angular application. So in order to, we can consume the HTTP GET services, okay? For doing this implementation, I am going to use the same block screen functionality. So currently, we are loaded some hard-coded data. So instead of that, we can load the data from our API, okay? First, let me go to my application. Here, I am going to create a new file. So already we have created the files for actions, models, reduces and selectors. Similarly, let me create one more file for our AFX. And this is also a kind of services. So let me use this injectable. Okay, it is not coming. So let me import it manually. So this is belongs to our angular core only okay next let me export the class okay our class is ready so next thing is uh, we have to create our fx so before that let me install one package so let me go to the official site of ngrx from this fx so let me copy this command npm install ngrxfx we can stop and install the packages okay we are getting some dependency error so the reason is our ngrx store is 16.0.1 uh, but the current version is 16.1.0 okay so let me upgrade our ngrx store so after that we can install our fx so let me copy this store command So, and also we need to upgrade our dev tools, okay? Next time, copying this FX once again. Okay, the installation gets completed. We can verify in our package.json. So, you know, we have upgraded our store and dev tools and installed this FX, okay? And the next thing is we need an API. For that, I am going to use the JSON server REST API. So let me start my API first. So already I have installed the JSON server packages globally. So no need to install once again. So let me execute this command in order to run our JSON server API. Okay. Okay, the file is created. So here we can keep this post section and let me change the name into blogs, okay? And I'm removing this existing data and I'm having some data already in the handy manner. So let me include it here, okay? So this is my API URL. Next in this service side, I already created one service. The service name is master service. Here I am going to inject this HTTP client. So before that, let me import the model. So in our app.model. So the model is HTTP client model. Okay. Next in our services. So let me format this one. Here I am going to create one new function get all blocks so return this dot http get so here we have to provide our api endpoint url okay and the data type is blog model it will return the list of data so we can provide us the array and in this method also let me provide us observable because all the http services are returning the data in this observable format only okay this is fine next let me go back to our effect side here first i am going to use the constructor so in this constructor let me inject the actions so this actions also belongs to our ngrxfx okay and next i am going to inject our services 
so that is our master services okay and the next thing is uh, we are going to define our fx from this fx we are going to call our apa from the apa we will get the two kind of response one is the success and another one is the failure so whatever response we are getting uh, we have to dispatch one new action okay so let me define the actions and here i am going to declare one constant variable load blog success okay so this is the just constant declaration next i am creating the action okay same using this create option So instead of providing direct value, we just declared one constant variable, okay? And in this naming also, I have changed into detail manner, okay? So this is the standard way. So let me change this uh, load block also. So let me declare one more constant variable. I can provide the name is load block. That's it, okay? So instead of this load block, let me provide like this. Okay, this is fine and in this success uh, we will get one props so that is the response we received from our APA props blog list this is the array okay so let me save this one now let me go back to our effect side here underscore blog equal to create effect and here I am going to use this action so that is imported in our constructor okay and this is observable so let me use the pipe option here first I am checking the type of action okay for that we have the off type so this off type also belongs to our ngrx cfx here I'm just checking load block okay so if it is the action we have to call our APA so I'm going to use the xcast map option so that also on kind of uh, rxjs operator so this dot our service and our function so basically this one also return the observable data only so let me include the pipe once again and then we can use the map option so here I'm going to call another function that is our load block success okay here I'm going to pass this data also and this map I'm getting the error because this should be need to imported in our rxjs so we cannot provide the data like this we have to maintain the format so in this object our blog list and the value is data that's it so let me save this one and if there is any error this catch error option okay so initially i'm going to provide the empty so this is also a kind of rxjs function so if i am created the separate action for this error scenario we can call that services okay it should be added here so let me save this one okay now we successfully created our effect file the next thing is we have to register this effect so let me go to my app model so here already we have imported this store model okay so similarly let me include this effect model also so if it is not imported let me import it manually in grx effects okay dot for root and here we have to provide our effect class okay that is our blog effects so let me save this one 
and in our state so in this initial load itself i have provided three records okay so let me remove the last two records for the reference i am just commanding go back to our component side so here i have to dispatch our load blog action okay so this dot store dispatch load blog let me go back to our reducer side so let me copy this section here instead of this add blocks let me change this into load block success and we can remove these all the things so through the actions we will get the block list so let me use like this action dot block list so we are simply replacing what are the data we are getting from our actions I'm just assigning into our state block list okay so let me save this one so let me refresh the screen in the error and also it is pointing to our block effects so let, okay let me verify here we have this constructor and also this function okay this injectable is missing basically it is the required one I mistakenly removed so that's what we are getting this error so let me include it at injectable okay so let me save this one so now if I'm refreshing the screen so the error got removed so if I'm refreshing the page I'm getting this four records okay so if you are checking in this initial state we have only one record but in our listing we are seeing the four records okay the data actually coming from our service only so now if you are checking in our component side so there is no direct interaction with our services so we are just injecting the store so if the data is needed uh, we are fetching the data from our store using this selectors and also we are dispatching the actions only okay for the database calling the service handling everything happen in our effects only so this is the way our ngrx effects is working so in my next video we can continue this add functionality and delete and update functionality okay so still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching